Good day, folks. Welcome back to video number eight in our 10 proven patterns for still waters with the BC Fly Guys. Um, today I'm tying a Crystal Flash Mayfly Nymph, and uh, so we'll just go ahead and get started. I've got a Togan's Curved Nymph Hook, that's a size 14, and uh, the bead on there is a Brown Magic bead, and it's a 3.30 seconds. And I'm tying with Rusty Brown 70 Denier tying thread. So we'll just go ahead and get started here and just get our hook dressed. <clears throat> And then we're going to take some, this is a root beer colored crystal flash that we're going to use for our tail. Just go ahead and tie that in. Just down into the bend just a little ways there. A couple wraps will prop that tail up nicely. And you can just trim that. About the same length as the as the shank. <clears throat> and then I'll take another strand of crystal flash. And just tie this in. This is gonna be our ribbing. So same color root beer. Just get that tied in. Set that off to the side for now. Now what I've got is some uh, Calabatus tan colored sparkle blend dubbing. And this is gonna be the body. So just go ahead and dub yourself a fairly thin slender noodle. And then uh, we'll go ahead and wrap that up for the body. Create your taper with this dubbing as you wrap it up. And just go up to about the two thirds point. pretty good there and you can just kind of trim out some of these stragglies for now and then go ahead and just counter wrap your crystal flash Tie that off. That looks good there. Now we're going to take just a chunk of medium Opal Mirage tinsel and just tie this in right on top. Make sure it's nice and centered up there. Just give that a double check. That looks pretty good. Again, if you get anything in your way, you just just trim it out of there. Okay, and next what I'm going to use is, this is an amber colored scud back, and uh, it's the one eighth of an inch, so that we can go ahead and tie in next. Same thing, right up top, nice and centered, if you can. Looks 
good there. So we'll just keep that stuff kind of tucked off to the side for now. And then uh, this next step is optional, but it's something I like to do. Um, I've got some um, ginger colored marabou, kind of a tan color would work. And what I'm going to do with this is just create some gills along the side of the fly. So literally you only need two or three little barbules of this stuff. So you can see I've hardly got anything at all. But I'm just going to moisten that a little bit to keep it under control. And then right behind where you tied in your, or right in front of where you tied in your scud back, you just want a tiny little bit of this right on the side. And uh, as I say, this will kind of act as, as gills for the fly. So just tie that in on the side. And don't worry about the length, we'll pinch that to, to length here shortly. <clears throat> and then same thing on the other side. like so. Now you can come in here with some scissors if you like. Just nip those off fairly close. You don't need a ton there. All you're looking for is maybe a quarter of an inch sticking out there. Okay <clears throat> and now we are going to dub the thorax and uh, <clears throat> so here we've got uh, some pheasant tail ice dub and same thing just a little pinch of it get started we're not going to dub the whole thorax just yet so just do about half of it so just nice and tight up to what you just did and leave yourself a little space there so now I'm gonna again go back to the root beer crystal flash and I've just got a small strand here that I'm gonna fold in half and these are gonna be our legs so we'll just tie those in right in front of where we finished the dubbing and then you can just fold that over to both sides and then you've got a couple legs there and you can go ahead and trim those kind of personal preference as to how long you want them <clears throat> and then we can finish dubbing the rest here Same thing, another small little dubbing noodle. Go ahead and just wrap that in there. Get up nice and tight to the bead. And now I'm going to just fold over our wing case material. So first I'm just going to take the scud back and then try to push your marabou gills down as you do that so they don't flare up too much. You can just lock that scud back in nice and centered up top there. <clears throat> Couple wraps on top, hold it back and just make sure it's tucked in nice and snug behind the bead there. And then if you give her a decent little tug when you trim it, it'll kind of suck itself back in for the most part. And then we'll just take our pearl tinsel here. Give that a couple wraps. You can trim that out. And we can grab our whip finisher. And 
go ahead and just whip finish a couple turns here. Don't worry too much about what that looks like at your tie off points there. I'm going to put a coating of UV resin on here that can kind of hide anything that you haven't uh, gotten the way you like. Okay, looks pretty good. Now, as I said, just take a little bit of that, uh, that UV resin. Um, and this is in the thin, so I'll just go ahead and put a shot of this up top. Just kind of highlights that wing case. Makes that pearl tinsel pop pretty good. And just give her a shot with some UV. That's about all there is to it. So it's a little bit of a more complicated fly to tie, but it's not really that difficult. It has a, uh, been a very effective pattern for me, so I continue to fish them and think that they're worth the extra little bit of uh, tying time. So again, you know, things like that, you know, you don't have to put that pearl tinsel on the wing case. You don't have to tie in those gills. You, know, you can simplify it down and it's still a pretty effective pattern, but I do like the uh, the look of it as it sits there. So, I hope you enjoyed that one. That's the uh, Crystal Flash Mayfly Nymph. And uh, tie that one up, give it a try. I know it'll catch you some fish. Thanks again for tuning in and watching. And uh, hope everybody has a great rest of their day. Tight lines.